Well, good day, fellow steam enthusiasts. And um, what I'm doing, the point of this video is to concentrate on a variety of steam known as vapor, uh, which is generally defined as steam systems that are really designed to operate at a half a pound or less, sometimes much less, sometimes even in a vacuum. So we have two examples of a three quarter inch valve which would normally be uh, used for uh, steam or if you want hot water. But um, this here is uh, your standard three quarter inch uh, easily obtained valve made by the Legend Company, a reasonably good quality uh, import valve. Um, nothing really bad to say about it. Um, it does the job. As you can see, the space is fairly wide, uh, lets in a, a, a good quantity of steam, um, and it's really not optimized for throttling, but it can. Uh, the material that uh, shuts against the seat is, uh, mm, I think it's EPDM, ethylene propylene dyne monomer rubber, uh, which holds up reasonably well with steam, but it does crack and fail after a decade or so um, in service. Uh, typical three quarter inch female thread, standard. And I have the spud example, which has the three quarter inch male threads, which goes into the uh, fitting in the radiator, use, usually using these uh, lugs um, get a um, radiator spud installer and you can see the finish is rough um, but serviceable uh, the packing is standard packing Teflon um, seal underneath the cap is a hardened uh, sort of uh, phenolic resin very brittle but um, replaceable um, one thing again I want to emphasize that this nut and these threads are a matched set, so if you need to swap out another manufacturer's uh, valve size, you're best off not tempting fate and, and also get the spud out uh, so that, that these mating surfaces, which are metal on metal, are drawn in properly with the, uh, with the thread size. Uh, sometimes you can get lucky, but <laughs> I never seem to, so I, uh, I usually just go ahead and and pull the spud. And the spud on this one um, is actually installed in the radiator uh, to be uh, worked on, so I don't have that example to show you, but sometimes this fits this, but this might not fit this, so this one looks uh, like the same. It's the same three-quarter inch. Uh, I think you can see, however, that the casting is much finer, and something you can't see is that this has a considerably more heft. So let's bring this out and take a look at it. So there is the inside. It's not EDPM, but it is a cone-shaped metal on metal, which has a much better valve authority. Uh, you can meter this down because vapor systems in general uh, tend to either restrict the steam going in or restrict the steam going out. particular example that we're installing on and working with is the type that restricts the steam going in. There is, There are, um, by design, no traps, although we're probably going to put a trap on the radiator that we're installing because it's a tiny little radiator and the steam is going to go through it very quickly. And we definitely, uh, already enough steam is getting into the dry return because the boiler is, even though downfired, grossly oversized. The packing is one of these type which is spring-loaded, so the packing material is about where my thumb is, and then there's a spring which exerts a constant pressure on there, squeezing it, and it's not uh, compression, but the as it wears down the spring, keeps that uh, tension so this theoretically could be used for a vacuum system because uh, the pack there you go the the uh, packing 
is the part that tends to wear out. So you see, let me rotate that, close it up. There we are. And you see that's, that's closed. And literally a, a little turn like that will just open it up just a little bit. And that's sometimes all the steam you need to balance the system. Whereas this guy here uh, would be very difficult to get that uh, fine steam and the steam eroding past that fairly large opening would tend to erode the um, material right quick. So this is the appropriate valve for uh, vapor systems. They are much more expensive and harder to find than, than this guy. Uh, the other uh, kind of hidden feature about this is that if you take off that screw there for the cap, and you can see this is a MEPCO example, which is the successor for Dunham Bush. Uh, I think Hoffman flogged these for a while. I think now they're, they got a different pattern. It's just a, you know, a brand name, um, but uh, getting off the track there. Um, you take this screw out and you um, reach way down inside the stem and there is a set screw, a uh, bladed set screw, just a regular slotted set screw. You need like one of those little mini screwdrivers. And you can set this so that it can only open so far and then stop. So there's an internal stop, which is adjustable to uh, reduce the likelihood of this thing being open full port um, and uh, overwhelming the radiator and sending steam into the dry return. Well, we're going to put a trap on there anyway. Um, the radiator is small. We want the radiator to heat fully uh, because it's in a bathroom. We want that bathroom nice and warm. Um, and so this is, we believe, the appropriate valve to put on a uh, orifice style vapor system. So we're going to end it here. And again, I end with my profound thanks for your support and your questions. Um, I hope this is uh, helpful. And uh, let me know in the comments below. And um, stay safe.